Ken Surfs here, back in the shave den, time for another shave. I'm doing a little catch up video. I'll talk to you about what's been going on here, uh, why I'm so late getting another video out, but uh, I'll talk to you about that during the video. Today we're gonna try from Panta Ray, the last of the three fragrances that uh, I said I would try out. And this is uh, Donna Franca. And this actually has a lot of cool uh, background scents in it. It has a, a fruit, floral, and musk aroma to it. And I, did I say Donna Franco? It's Donna Franca. There we go. Get it right, Ken. And uh, it's a very soft soap, as you can see. So what I'm going to... Oh, man, I've already taken some out. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this soap into a uh, shaving bowl. I've got my Captain's Choice shaving bowl here. I'm going to just put a little bit right there, ready to rock. And I will be using the Donna Franca aftershave also today. Now, I've been getting a lot of requests. Could I revisit the Supply Single Edge Razors? A lot of you who are getting into DE razors and wet shaving, you're expanding your collection. And uh, man, one of the gents I know that has a huge collection of uh, razors has bought his Supply Single Edge Razor for the first time. And he had a few questions as well as other people did. So I'm gonna bring out, I haven't used this one with you yet. This is the uh, bronze, the polished bronze, I believe, uh, color. Let's make sure. No, 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 no. Copper, sorry, copper, copper color. And this is a single edge razor. It does not use DE blades. So what's kind of cool about this, well, here's your razor. Here's your supplies. Comes with three different heads. Uh, well, that's the blades. Comes with three different heads for variety of skin types. They have uh, sensitive, they're marked with a dot. Sensitive, uh, what is it, comfortable and ultra close. I'm gonna be using the comfortable today. I got this as a gift from my friend. He had the sensitive uh, skin head on it. And I'm gonna show you what that entails. The razor itself has a spring-loaded uh, little nut or bolt that holds uh, the bottom of the head on. And there you can see there's the two dots. So this is going to make this a comfortable shave. And it just pops in like this. Now what's kind of nice, well, you saw how easy that was to come apart. Uh, a lot of you have been asking, since the single edge blades are a little more expensive than the DE blades, you've been asking, uh, how do I get them out to clean them? Because if you want your blade to last, what I did, this question was asked this morning of me, uh, I take the blades out and I clean off all the soap scum and get them nice and clean. Now they can rust. So what I do is I usually just drop them in a little little tiny tray of mineral oil. And she's not gonna rust, she's gonna stay good for the next several shaves. And you can actually take them out, put the single blade in manually and tighten it up. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna load it up with the automatic and I'm using the supply single edge blade here. And there is the blade in the cartridge. I know a lot of you are saying, hey man, I already know how to do this, but uh, you put the cartridge here you slide that across, pull it back, pull it out. There you have your blade locked in behind those tabs, ready for action. So this razor is now ready to go. So I enjoy these, uh, well, I got a shave channel, right guys? So I've got all types of razors except uh, straight edge. That's because man, my hands get a little shaky and I'll cut myself. I'm not comfortable with them. I know a lot of you love them. I've been asked a lot to try, uh, you know, th uh, throat cutters. <laughs> uh, but uh, I am more comfortable with DE and single edge blades. And a lot of people ask, that is why. Let me set the box aside. All right. Today, Samoag Owners Club Badger with the, uh, the mock ivory handle. Let's get this in here. Those guys are on, uh, I took a day off today. My back is tight as hell. I'm on pain pills. 
So if I'm a little scattered, <laughs> I couldn't function at work, so I took a sick day, but I need to shave. It's itching, this, this is itching, as you can tell. It's time. So let's get this shave started. All right. I just had a shower a little while ago. So hopefully we can get a good shave out of this. Man, I almost saw the crystal skull about to fall like the quorum just did. We can't have that. All right. Let's try this Donna Franco. Now this is not made exclusively by Panta Ray. It's made by another company for Panta Ray. Their uh, Marrakesh is made exclusively by them in their own factory. But this stuff's pretty good. In fact, I got the description of this uh, the contents from West Coast Shaving. Maggard uh, Razors has it or Maggard Shaving has it. A lot of the companies have it. So you don't have to go to Italy or have them imported because I'm not quite sure if they'll let you import. Oh man, nice. Uh, aftershave into the United States or vice versa. New TSA laws or I don't know why, but I have been, received a lot of aftershaves over the years from Europe. But right now, people are having trouble sending it. But this arrived. <laughs> this arrived. Maybe he just said shaving equipment. You say liquid stuff and oh man. I'm not telling you to lie on your shipping forms, but you know. All right, here we go. Yeah, the other one I have is the uh, the brush stainless version of this. This is my first time using this one. Took it right off. Like I said, I have a friend, Mark, who just bought his for the first time, and he says he enjoys it. But he was asking about blade preservation. I'll show you at the end of this video what you can do with a blade. Hope everybody has been going good. There's been nothing but projects going on at my house over the last two weeks. The contractor's in the backyard right now. It's lunch break for him, so you're not hearing jackhammering and all sorts of shenanigans coming from the backyard. I'm raising my block wall. I have a concrete block wall. It's like six foot in some areas and five foot in the others. We're having it set to six foot completely around the backyard and they're putting a coat of stucco on, a white, arctic white. It's got a little blue tint to it. Uh, stucco lighting up the backyard and I've got some king palm trees coming. There's a bunch of palm trees available out there, man, but the king are self pruning, self cleaning. I really enjoy them. Their, their base doesn't get that big and they get pretty damn tall. So it's gonna look a little bit like a tropical backyard when I'm all done. And I will, I have been shooting photos or video. I will show you what that looks like when it's done. Some of you are interested. I have a, uh, I cut myself the other day over here. So I'm gonna go there, nice. These will gunk up, you know, with the uh, whiskers and all. So just, you're hearing it. I have a little bowl right here, medium sized little bowl that I just uh, rinse that off with. Now you can see underneath it so you can get a close shade. And this, these whiskers were much longer, longer, longer than I uh, usually do. It's probably a week, guys, since the uh, shave last. Didn't nick myself. No complaints. All right. No complaints. They have a, about eight different colors available for these razors. And I have nothing to do with their company. They don't sponsor me. I use their products. You don't have to, but if you're interested in single edge shaving, 
because this is an addictive hobby. If you haven't figured that out yet, this is an addictive hobby. You can't have just one, you know, uh, brushes. Oh man, brushes, razors, blades. You know it. If you're watching this channel, you know it. And if you're new to the channel, you will know it. So that was setting two. I wonder how, uh, I think sensitive skin would have been too light for me, too mild. Man. It's very grippy. Looks smooth, but it, it is very grippy. You have a little channel there. And they have a lot of vintage single edge razors and uh, some modern ones. In fact, let's look back in my video a couple of weeks ago and you'll see one of the modern ones. But it's been a while since I've used the supply. Man, that was itching. That beard. <laughs> what I can call a beard, scraggly beard. It looked like Shaggy off Scooby-Doo. It's not a thick beard, but it itches. The goatee, not so bad right now. Whew. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot mellower. School's ending last week of school, like I mentioned, uh, digital photography last week of college. So I'll have more time to, to visit with you guys. And I do enjoy visiting with you guys. All right. Soap worked great. Very, very, very smooth. Scent is gone now. We'll see how long this lasts. Yeah, some floral in there. Bit of a musky smell too. Yeah, we're gonna see how she does. Man, and it's alcohol based. <laughs> I think this soap is vegan, by the way. I'll have all the links, so if you wanna go visit their sites. Oh man, that burn, good burn. And I am back in business. There we go. This is coming off later. I, uh, I've just grown it out for uh, shaving purposes. I'm gonna shave it off with an aggressive razor soon in the future. But uh, right now, it's just my summer goatee. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're staying safe. I uh, hope everything's going good for you. Summer is uh, still in full swing. It's getting uh, nice and hot out here and a lot of work being done over here at the Ken Sir Humble Abode, so let me tell you. All right, everybody, we'll see you real soon. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your subscription. I signed off and I almost forgot. I was gonna show you. <laughs> Thank you for staying with us. All right, so now usually yeah, you put in the injector and it'll push out the old blade and you can toss it. But with this one, again, just remove the little screw. Man, I almost forgot this. Don't lose this. I'm sure they will replace it for you if you lose it, but now this just comes right off. Now I'm gonna do this without dropping the blade, or try to. There, blade just folded in. Blades out. So now you can actually rinse the blade under some water. I rinsed the blade under the water and I've pulled my fingers away from the sharp edges, just sideways, and that's got off that took off all the soap scum, everything here. And you can just dry this because you can get a lot of uses out of these. If you really, I was a little anal, if you really want to make them last, you put them, you get a little thing of, uh, 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 where is it? Uh, I got mineral oil. I use mineral oil to water, uh, water, to uh, lube my adjustable razors. And if you just put a little mineral oil on it, it'll keep it from rusting. It'll be good for, I, I hear 10 good shaves. So that will offset the cost of the injector blades, but the, that's what I do. 
and we'll let that dry right here. Almost forgot about that. See you soon.